हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न गली कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट गली डेवलपमेंट टेम्पररी गली कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट इज टी जी सी एस आर मेड फ्रॉम लोकली अवेलेबल मटेरियल एंड हैव अ लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ थ्री टू एट इयर्स दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट मेड फ्रॉम लोकली अवेलेबल मटेरियल एंड हैव अ लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ थ्री टू एट इयर्स then the temporary gully control structures are of many types that is first one is the woven wire check dams second brush dams third loose rock dams fourth plain or slab dams and fifth log check dams then the basic purpose they serve as retain more water as well as soil for proper plant growth that is basically soil water conservation prevent channel erosion until sufficient vegetation is established so basically gully reclamation so vegetation grow sufficiently so no for the erosion no for the extension in size of the gully could take place so let's start with the woven wire check dams used in gullies of moderate slope and small drainage area dam is commonly built in half moon shape so this is half moon shape flow is coming from this side and offset is equal to the 1/6 of the width of gully at same side is optimum so this offset when we say this is offset basically so what kind of diameter 1 by of this offset then continuing with this a row of post is set along the curve of the dam at about 1.2 meter intervals and 60 to 90 cm deep so this is the interval is 1.2 meter as shown in figure these are going up to 60 to 90 cm heavy gauge one wire is placed against the post with the lower part set in 15 to 20 cm deep so that 25 to 30 cm projects above the ground surface along the spillway interval so that means one wire goes even below this soil surface this is soil surface and this is woven wire so you can see here this is place goes even below the soil surface a sod fill is used on the upstream side to regulate the flow over the crest so some kind of fill is used so water gets stand suddenly a large flow does not hit the structure rock brush or sod may be placed for a length of 1.2 meter to form the apron so on the downward stream side we have apron and on the upstream side where sod fills so these protections are so provides the we have brush dams they are best suited for gullies with small drainage area for distance of 3 to 4.5 meter along the site of the structure sides and bottom of the gully are covered with thin layer of straw or similar fine mulch so wherever we decide that put will structure so over around 3 4 to half meters put a straw of fine mulch brushes are then packed closely together over the mulch so then brushes are put together several rows or stacks are then driven crosswise in the gully with rows 60 cm apart and stacks 30 to 60 Centimeter apart in the rows. So several rows. You can see here row one, row two, row three. We'll put several stacks. Then finally, heavy galvanized wire is used to fasten the stacks in a row as well as to firmly compress the brushes in a place so that mean there are several. They block the flow of water and conserve the energy of flow and also. controls the flow of erosive velocity and could be controlled loose rock dam name it suggest these are suitable for gullies with small medium size drainage area its strength is first made across the gully to a depth about 30 cm to form the base the depth is 30 cm to base is formed flat stones are the best choice they can be laid in such a way that the entire structure is kept together so if stones are flat one of another can be laid 
the center of the dam is kept lower than the sides to form spillway so this is the center the center is always kept so kind of depression is there so that we are opening to serve as an apron several large flat rocks may be contour sunk below the spillway extending about 1 meter downstream from the base of the dam so on the downstream side will have provide apron by contour sunking large flat rocks for about 1 meter length then we have plank or slab dam which is suitable for areas with plenty full of timber suitable for gullies with larger drainage area and these planks are placed across the gully to form the dam suitable opening for the spillway notch is made over the head wall so some kind of opening will be provided on the upstream face well tempered earth fill is made again like so that the flow comes smoothly and on the downstream side the apron is made up of loose rock brush sod or planks in all cases we have to see that flow approaches there is some kind of approach and they stabilize the gully heads and there is last log and pole check dam is to stabilize the gully heads logs are there used they are used for gully stabilization have less than 100 meter in length and the catchment area is less than 2 hectares and the maximum height of the dam is 1.5 meter from the ground surface level so there you can see here 1.5 meter from the ground surface and this is the natural ground and the spillway is rectangular in shape that is provided in most of the cases either rectangular or semi circular the length and the depth of spillway are 1 to meter and 0.5 to 0.6 meter respectively so there are typical dam recommended so next is the permanent gully control structures that is pgcs if you may remember temporary structures typically they are adopted for gully which are up to 5 meters depth where the drainage area is less than 20 hectares and if the gully size is larger or drainage area is more then we have to employ permanent gully control structures because in those scenario temporary gully structures may fail and these structures are referred is permanent because they usually they are built of masonry or reinforced concrete and spillway made from concrete and steel pipes so that means the life span is much longer as compared to temporary which is only 3 to 8 years the function of course like all gully control structures they are used in gully for stabilization of course but here it is typically they are adopted for medium to large drainage area if you remember when the we talk about vegetative major or temporary gully control structures they all limited to small to medium gullies but in this case permanent structures are typically adopted for medium to large drainage area in situations where temporary structures may fail the functions are to help the advance of vertical overfall at gully head and second is the to stabilize the gully so that it becomes waterway then move on if the erosion control programmer requires bigger structure then pg cs are used they include drop spillway drop inlet spillway chute spillway and permanent earthen check dams so permanent gully control structures are definitely adopted in any soil and water conservation program or watershed management program because they have proven their efficiency or their utility for efficient erosion control stay tuned for next lecture we will cover hydrological cycle and runoff thanks for watching